Hey, collective. This is your message. Timeless. Take what you need and leave the rest for others. I have a sale going on. That information can be found in the community section. We have the temperance here. You're in your feelings about this love. Two of Cups. Ooh, bottom of the deck. Marriage. This could also be a soul mate. This could be like a relationship that's very serious, but it's, it hasn't reached uh, a marital status just yet. Okay? Not quite sure, though. You don't want... It's like you don't know what to think about this, this person. Okay? Or this connection, if you're in one. It's a sexual... Ooh. Okay. Clarify the Ace of Wands, please. It's like a little... The Sun card. Ooh. Gotta get... Get ready to get a little kinky here. Okay? This could be a situation where somebody has... If you're in a relationship, I may have to do a... Uh, I'm going to do two parts. I'm going to do the first part of this is going to be if you're in a relationship collective. And the second part is going to be if you're single. Because this here looks like a relationship you're in and your partner has asked you to have a menage a trois. Not for everybody. Okay, this could also mean that this person is cheating on you and they're happy you're cheating. Whether, you know, you're married to this person or not, they're going to keep on fucking around on you whether you like it or not. So take it how it resonates, Okay. <laughs> So maybe this person wants you to, to have a menage a trois and you said no, so they're they not going to go leaving you and cheating on you and finding somebody who will have a menage a trois. That movie. Trois. <laughs> T, you know, T-O-I-S, trois. That, was, that came to mind. Okay. But you don't want to do it. Or you found out that this person was cheating. And like I said, they're going to keep on cheating because they, they don't give two shits about how you feel about it. And if this is some, this is where you... This is where the issue's coming in at. And this is where you say, you know, I don't want to be with you anymore. But this person's not going to let you go. They want you and they want their cake <clears throat> and eat it too. <clears throat> it's not that they love the person or the people that they're cheating with. They just have a sexual, they just have this sexual energy that that they they need fulfilled. Okay? They even if even if they go paying for it, okay? Even if they're going to pay for it, you say, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not what I married you for. Or that's not what I got into this relationship for. It's to have you, you know, it's to share you with somebody else. But this is this is what they like. Okay, we got the Empress. That's you. Clarify the Empress with this person who's cheating. You don't want to do it. You, th you, you thought about it. You considered it. You felt that, well, I'm, I'm going to think about it because I care about you. But I don't think you're going to do it. I love you too much to share you with somebody else. Okay? Because you thought about it. You went in hermit mode. And you said, I love you. I care about you. But I don't want to do that. Okay? So they made the decision to go do it without you. You know? They made that decision. Toxic. Negative person. Very, very disgusting. You know? They want to... They want a threesome. You know? They want... If, it's a, if this is a relationship you're having with a male... He wants to have two women. If it's a woman, she wants to have two men. Whatever. You know. Or whatever other kinky thing that, that's going on that I'm not mentioning. You know. Okay. This is if you're in a relationship and your partner has cheated. Or wants to have a menage a trois. Nasty self. That's too many, Spirit. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be two, two readings. One for the people who are hooked up in relationships and ones who are single. Relationship, that's too many. I keep getting buku cards. We got the three of cups again. Paying for it. <laughs> the justice card. This person, uh, clarify the three of cups. Yeah, paying for it. You know, if not, well, hell, shit, paying for it. What? I don't know what else to say. Uh, they're willing to pay for it. If they can't get it for you, they're going to get it somewhere, even if they have to pay for it, okay? If you want to do it, somebody else will. That's just the way it is. Maybe some past energy, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? Them hurting you, you know, because they stepped out and did what they needed to do. They, 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 they uh, tripped the light fantastic. 
then fucked up the wedding vows or whatever, and been so mean to you in the process, you know, well, really not mean to you, you know, it's like they, they told you what they wanted to do, and if you don't give it to me, I know somebody who will, or I will find somebody who will, maybe this person has a, a deviant sexual uh, appetite, and you don't want to feel that, and you don't want to feel that appetite, you know, so maybe they find somebody who do, hookers, hoes, hood rats, whatever, they don't give, they don't give a fuck. And that's not really my head. Very, very uh, toxic person you're dealing with here, collective. Not for everybody, but if it's for you, it's for you. Okay? Got the sun card. Mm -hmm. You were happy with this person at first, but conflict brought you down, brought the relationship down. Okay? You wanted to work at it, work on this connection. Okay? But the, we've got the marriage here. Clarify. The hair open. You wanted to work on this. And what about your person? Did they want to work on it? They have other. They have other. They have had or have other thoughts. If you can't give them what they want, they're going to get it somewhere else. And that's exactly what they're doing or what they've done. Okay, we got the, the Ace of Swords. The Four. I'm sorry, the Five of Pentacles. The Chariot and the King of Swords. If you won't give me what I want, I'm going to get it somewhere else. And that's exactly what this person has done, okay? Or will do. And you you are the one left to pay the price because you care for this person. You love this person. And you're like, what did I ever do to, to what did I do to deserve this? To deserve this heartache and pain. To deserve a person who didn't think that I would be enough for them in the bedroom. That's nasty. Mm -hmm. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So what are you going to do? Give me a spirit animal for the person who's watching. And we have a rebirth. What you're going to do is get on with your life. If this resonates with you, just get on with your life. Let it go. Let him go. Let her go. I think it's a female, though, but it doesn't have to be. Okay? You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Let them go. If somebody shows you who they are the first time, collect them. Let them go. Okay, so this is going to be the second half, but this is going to be for the singles. This is a collective singles read, okay? If you're single, I'm going to ask the spirit guides to give me a clear message for you. I hope it resonates. Take what you need and leave the rest for others. Okay, spirit guides, give me messages for the singles, please. Messages for the singles. What's coming up for the singles, please, spirit? Let me spray some empath spray because that reading was kind of intense, the first one. Okay, we got some messages. We have somebody watching you. Okay. We got the relationship ended, okay? Hold on a second. Clarify this. Are you wondering why this person is no longer texting you? Okay. This person is hurting, okay? This person is coming out of something, okay? got the queen of pentacles okay they're leaving the person left you to be with somebody else okay and now they're stuck they don't want to be there they don't want to be there clarify the king the queen of pentacles they're thinking about a gift they're thinking about maybe doing something okay pentacles. they wish they would have done more they wish that when you are to, when you all were together, they wish they would have done more to keep the relationship going, to, to keep the relationship with you alive. And they're thinking about texting you, but they know that they messed up, okay? They hurt you. They they realize it, okay? They realize that they, you were the wifey, that you were wifey, that you were the one for them. Or husband material, take it how it resonates, but... They're in their bed at night wondering, or, or this person wants to text you, but they're not doing it. They hate the fact that you all have ended, okay? They're, make, they're wanting to make a move. They're trying to figure out, I wonder, does this person still care about me? I wonder, should I gift this person something? Maybe you want to gift you something probably for Valentine's Day that's coming up. But they're, they're thinking about moving forward toward you, okay? Because we have the Six of, of Cups here. But... Something's holding this person back. They want to work on it, okay? 
ultimately, you're this person's wish fulfillment. Clarify the eight of swords, please. This person wants to come out, but what's holding them back? They're definitely thinking about you. And the only thing that's holding this person back is space and opportunity. What's holding this person back from the collective, please? Strength. They're not strong enough yet to come back, okay? Yeah, they're not. They're worried, okay? Uh, they want to work on this with you, but they're not strong enough yet to come back. They haven't... They're not like Popeye. They haven't eaten their spinach just yet, okay? But they're definitely wanting to make an offer. They feel you did so much in the relationship. You were such a, a gift, and you did so much, but they gave so little when you all were together, okay? And they realized that, that, that they hurt you, okay? But love is on this person. I got love on my mind. Um Uh, I can't think of her name. Anyway, she, yeah, this person has love on her mind, love on his mind, take it how it resonates. And they're thinking about you heavy, very, very heavy. Maybe they're doing some drinking, okay? And while they're drinking, they're thinking about you. And it's like they think about you, but they have a, a smile on their face because they just can't stop thinking about it. And Natalie Cole, thank you. I got love on my mind, Natalie Cole. This person has love on their mind. They have you on their mind. And when they think about you, they smile. Okay, they probably tell you, you got some pretty teeth, or maybe they have some pretty teeth. They know that they did wrong. They did. They they know that they didn't do right by you, collective. Okay, and and they would totally understand that if you don't want to do anything, if you don't want to have anything to to say to them, they realize this. But they know that that they want to change things. They want to make things right for the two of you. But you may not. You may not deal with them anymore okay no that does she think of me enough to even want to sit down and talk to me and maybe i want to work this out will she allow me to work it out with her maybe not her or him you know separation time apart from your part is on the horizon you're separate and and he or she knows that they feel the separation even now more than ever okay somebody has a dog so maybe when you were with this person their favorite dog died but that that the dog's energy is still around them i don't know where i'm getting that from but that's what i'm getting they're, they're definitely wondering if they should come back okay they're thinking like man is it safe for me to go back and tell this person that i really and honestly do love her and maybe start over because we got the honeymoon wanting to start over from scratch with you wanting to really really <laughs> Really, really work it out. I'm hearing too that this person, for who is single, this person wants to come and scratch your itch. Okay, give me a spirit animal for the single people. Spirit animal for the single people. Spirit animal is abundance. The bison, very, very abundant financially, but you're lacking love. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Getting more and more financially stable in your life, more income. I'm hearing in income and increments for you, collective. Income and increments for you, okay? So something's going on with you financially, but at the same time, you got this person who wants to come in and scratch that itch? Scratch that itch. Better eat your Wheaties. They're worried. Okay. Thinking about you all night long. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about how I, how unfair I treated you, how I let you, how I allowed you to take over the relationship and I just stepped back because I was used to being taken care of. Okay? Gave very little. They didn't give enough. And they, they know. Because you had it all. You gave too much. And they let you do it because they knew that you would do it. They knew that you would carry them in the relationship. I'm not talking about carrying them financially i'm just talking about carrying the whole relationship in general they knew that you would do that so they let you while they stood back stepped back and did what they were doing but ultimately they want you back okay but when they had you the first time 
You know, maybe they have some toxic ties to other people. Maybe they weren't ready to settle down with just you. But that was the problem. They weren't ready to settle down, so they bounce. Okay? So you got this person <clears throat> that wants to come back and scratch that itch. But what you going to do about it? 